Okay, let me go over some basics here real quick. Uh, and when you're inside DuckSoup, click on Edit. If you have multiple pages, it goes, here's the second page, third page. If you click up here at the top right, it actually will show you um, all the different pages, how many pages you have, that kind of stuff. Um, when you click on the Google Classroom, uh, this account is my personal account, so it's, there's not a Google Classroom. It'll just tell you you're not signed in. But on my, um, let's see. So on my teacher account, if I click on Google Classroom, it automatically takes me in, asks me to choose a class and uh, create an assignment, ask a question. If I do this, it actually creates an assignment, and whenever the student goes to it, if they click on this, it'll take them directly to this page so that they can work on the assignment. And when the, when the student chooses their Google Classroom button, it, it allows them to turn it in. And so that's basically how that works. Um, so let's go back here. Let's look at the different type of questions. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Okay, so all I do is I click, I drag, click create, click, drag, click create. Or I can click, drag, and double click inside. Or I can click, drag, and hit enter. So those are three different ways. So what I would normally do is default when I create a question, it does it in order. And when I click inside of it, you can see what it does off here to the side. Or I can click over here and you can see if I want to change something, I just click right here. And it allows me to, you know, take this and move it around and put it wherever I want. And I just hit the create button and it sends it over. Normally I would just, if, if it's just a quick single word text answer is my correct answer, I just put the correct answer in the blank, right? So I could just go like this, one, two, three, four. And so those are going to be my correct answers whenever the student gets on there. Now, obviously there's a bunch of different kind of answers. So if I click one and I create and I click in it over here at the top right, I can, these are my, my answer and question informations panel over here. I can change the question number. I can change the question type, the number of points. So sometimes I want a student to be able to do something on here, but I don't want it to count against them or anything. I can just change the points to zero. Put in help text, put in a help link. If you put in a help text or help link for the student, it, they see a question mark next to the blank so that they can click on it. So uh, I can make a student answer, be able to answer only a number. I can make it a math or chemistry question. So if I click on that, when I click in there, you'll notice that a little editor pops up. And when I click on the editor, I can actually uh, do all kinds of things. I can do a sum. Or if I wanted to, without the editor, I could, editor, I could have just typed that little slash sum, and this would have came up. And then I could, you know, I can put in whatever I want here. Uh, I could say I don't know, x squared. You know, there's all kinds of different things. So when I do that, you'll notice that it's here. And so that's a math or chemistry. Um, if I have a question that I want students to be able to write on that area, I just draw a box over the whole entire area I want them to be able to write in. When I click on it, I come over here and I change it to um, a show your work box. So a show your work box, it'll, it turns on this whole entire square so the students will be able to write on it on a touchscreen device or with their mouse. And then here, this is a quick answer, like a quick one word answer or one number answer that's automatically graded. So the student will show their work and then they can put in just a quick little uh, number or something like that and it will grade it. I could also, if I have a math or a chemistry, I could click on this. And, you know, this would probably be a math or a chemistry answer. I could go down here and say, math or chem, show your work box. And now they could draw and show their work on this. But then they have the, the ability to use the editor to show, you know, the answer square root of 2. Or if it's chemistry, I could say, you know, the answer is uh, H2O. All right. H2O. And I could update that so that I can say the answer is H2O. 
And then, of course, let's say I want right here, I want a written response. I could do this. Click here. And I could go to paragraph response. And in paragraph response, what's going to happen is it's going to ask me to put in my answers over here. So I could say, you know, one, two, three, four. So what it's going to do for the student is whenever the student writes their answer, it's going to search through their written answer and look for these keywords. And it's going to give them points, partial credit based off the total value points. So each one of these would be worth, you know, a quarter of a point, And it will give them credit. And it's really just meant to help teachers grade or to give feedback because right now computers can't really read uh, a written response. Let's see, the other ones are, of course, multiple choice. So if I have a, if I have a multiple choice, uh, let's, let's say I want a multiple choice blank here. Um, I just go here to multiple choice. It's just like anything else. I put in my answer here. And then I can choose the correct answer. And you'll notice it changes over here. Or I could come over here and select the correct answer. And you'll notice it changes right here. And I think I covered all of them. Oh, drawing box. So a drawing box is really meant to, um, it's where you want your students to write on the paper, but there really is no correct answer. So like if you want them to like, you know, draw on a map or something like that, you could do a drawing box. And then what it does, it automatically, if there's any points here, since there is no correct answer, it automatically awards them the points. So if I'm a teacher and I want them just to write on a map, but I don't want it graded, then I would just change that to zero points. Now the student can draw, but it doesn't count it against them or for them as far as their average. So I hope I answered all your questions. Uh, please feel free to email me at rboyer.net. Thank you.